I am the co-director of the Stone Age Institute and a professor of anthropology at Indiana University. And I want to show you what our ancestors started doing about two and a half million years ago that we can see in, on the African continents. The earliest archaeological record are very simple stone tools. And they discovered around this time that if you took two natural cobbles, say from a, a gravel bar of a river, you could hit one against the other one and knock off these razor sharp pieces of stone that archaeologists call flakes. So in a matter of a few seconds, I'm producing these very sharp razor blade like materials, literally razor sharp. If I were to drag this across my finger, I would cut myself quite badly. And we can use these for a range of activities as our ancestors did in the early Stone Age, butchering animals, uh, working wood, say you want to make a spear for hunting or a digging stick for, for digging up roots and tubers from the branch of a tree. These are great tools for the shaping that you would do for that. By about two million years ago that we have really good evidence for the expansion of the human brain, for uh, the spread out of Africa shortly after that, the reduction in the size of the teeth and the jaws of our ancestors as well. And starting about one and a half million years ago, they started getting more ambitious uh, and making forms that we call uh, so-called hand axes. They were probably held in the hand and used as cutting tools. This would be one, it's a more refined one from perhaps about a half a million years ago or so made out of flint. And so the idea of this is you would take a larger piece of stone and kind of imagine that form in the middle of it. And then again, using a hammer slowly but surely marching around the edges and knocking off flakes. So I'm using the scar of the flake that was just knocked off as a striking platform to go in the other direction. And the idea is you want to march all the way around this piece. Okay, and so it would take me about another five minutes to go all the way around this. That's called hard hammer uh, percussion, where you use a hard hammer to knock off flakes. And another thing they learned to do, which is really interesting and somewhat counterintuitive, is you totally steepen the edge. You dull the edge by move, removing these little flakes with a smaller hammer. And then you take a softer material. It could be a piece of hard wood, a fragment of elephant tusk. In this case, I'm using an antler of a deer and you're biting right into the edge. And this is a way of controlling flaking. Do it one more time. And you get a much thinner product at the end of it. And this is called soft hammer technique.